What's up guys? Steak Jake here with another episode of Elite Dangerous with another good question for you. Are you new to the game? Do you have friends that have been playing it for a long time maybe? Maybe a short time, but have way big, bigger, bigger ships, bigger stuff, better stuff than you do, and want to make some quick money but don't know exactly how to do it? Well, I got a good one for you. This is Jake's Guide to Wing Missions for Beginners. Basically, I know that they've started an area in the game for new players to start in specific systems, and as long as they stay within those systems, uh, they're usually safer there because bigger ships like Anacondas and Fair to Lance, different stuff can't come in and destroy new players just to be a douchebag. So, I understand that fact on why they did that, but I don't know anything about the new system setup, and I'm not about to start my game over just to go there and do that, because I would not do that with all the crap that I've worked on for the past four years to do. So, uh, that's something I don't know the first thing about, and my PC version of the game has also progressed fairly far, and I don't think I'm going to be doing that either. But, still, if you leave those systems, if you have something, let's say you got a Eagle or a Viper, they're not technically that expensive. I know that I'm technically in an area that has different size types of ships, but you know, you start in a sidewinder and you can get haulers are cheap, adders are fairly cheap. E that the Imperial Eagle usually isn't offered, I don't think, in that area. I don't know. And uh, Vipers are a little bit more. I think the four is a little more than the three, but not by too much. So you want to get into a better ship. Let's say you want to get into. A vulture. Well, they're kind of expensive. If you're wanting to do fighting, I mean, that'd be a thing. If you want an asp to jump around and look at stuff, it's expensive. Fair to lances are extremely expensive. Good ship to fight in, but it's just you want better ships. They just cost so much. Pythons. Pythons can kick butt. They're really good ships. I liked mine when I had it. But you need the money. There's always a problem with needing money in this game. Getting money in certain ways is faster than others, but if you're in a wing, there are some advantages of doing winged missions. Here's a good one for example. Soros return 855 units of beer. I did not read that, but okay, it doesn't matter. It's not the point of what the material is. Basically, you take one of these missions. Basically, you'd want your friends, if they're in bigger ships, to take these missions because if they've been doing stuff, then their rank is probably higher, their trade rank, which mine is maxed because I've been doing so much trading over the years. Um, it's a good way to get something. They need 855 units, so you find a station that has that commodity on it, and you purchase it. Basically a wing mission, you accept the wing mission, and then you go to your contacts, or transactions, and you share that mission with your wing. Now the advantages of doing such a thing is if you can't hold a lot of cargo, but you have a friend that can hold maybe three or 400 tons, and they're willing to help you with it, that's the other trick. You gotta have somebody that's wanting to help you get some money faster. This one doesn't pay that much, it's only a million bucks, but it's still a small dent. Um, all you have to do is take one. Just one! It doesn't count towards how many each person carries to how much their reward is going to be. All you have to do is haul one to the place that, the, that your friend's mission is to, and you can get the full amount of the reward, or pick whichever reward you want to do. As long as they're willing to help you with uh, hauling that much stuff around. Uh, there are different ones, assassination ones. I haven't messed with those too much. Uh, these are for conflict zones. These ones are a little bit more tougher to do. I wouldn't do it in a new ship or anything. Um, because 63 ships, that's a lot of ships to blow up. But if you're in a wing of four... That's a good way to make some money for wing missions because you can get that full amount like crazy. I, in my case, I would probably take the one that offers the modified embedded firmware because I need that crap for engineering. But And you only lose the two million bucks. Plus, you also get combat vouchers for doing the conflict zones. So you get a little bit more money on top of that. Conflict zones obviously don't pay as much as like bounty hunting does, but you still do get some money from it. So that's a that's a good wing mission to do. I really like those. Those are probably some of my favorites to do. I'm hoping to find something else here. 
in a specific sense, it makes it really hard to do a video when the store you're current or the mission thing you're currently in does not have what you're looking for. Okay, boom delivery time missions. There are there are missions for cargo haul from one station, pick up the crap there, take it to the next one. Those are really good for new players to do because sometimes, I mean, these are solos, that's why they're paying so low, but you can find like 11 million up to 20, depending on uh, the person that's accepting the mission and what their rank is and stuff. And usually it's somewhere anywhere between 2,000 to 6,000 tons of cargo, which is really a lot. If you have a whole group of people, it makes it a lot easier to do. But for new players, it's good if you have somebody that can haul a lot. Like, my cutter can haul 728 if I keep the shields on it. If I take those off, I can haul almost 800, which is quite a bit at a time. Which is what I did for my friend. That's what I did. He was still in something small. I think he had an eagle at the time. I had him put, like, two cargo racks on the ship. Or, I think it comes with it. And I said, all you gotta do is haul two from here to here. I said, just haul those over, and then when I turn in the mission, you'll get the full amount of the money. So we started doing that. He got into some bigger stuff very, very quickly. Um, because between me and my other friend, he has an anaconda. We just hauled all the as much as we possibly could haul as fast as possible. And all he had to do was haul little bits. I think he hauled like 10 maybe total out of the entire thing. And we finished it off quick, and he got a lot of money. Uh, we did one more, and he got a whole bunch more, and it was a good way to get him some quick funds. Apparently, Frontier doesn't have a problem with people exploiting this. If people, I don't know if everybody even knows it works that way. But you don't have to haul a bunch. You just have to haul some. Uh, the only thing, other things that are, are the assassination ones, which are basically you all get into a wing. Somebody sucks him out of Super Cruise, and then you all blow his butt up, come back here, and get the money for it. I mean, that's not actually that hard to do. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, for new ships, though, the cargo runs and the uh, the, tri the source and return ones are actually really good. This one is probably is extremely low for the price. I don't know, but probably because of what it is. So, yes, it costs you money to purchase the stuff for these. You have to pay for it and then bring it back. So, after buying that many tons... On these type of missions, it's good if you can have a fairly large amount of people and then you break it. Like, if you can get a wing of four, you split it at four quarters. You each all try to take the same amount, so it costs you less and you get more closer to what the actual reward amount is. If there's only three of you, you try to split it up in thirds. And same thing if you're only in a wing of two. Try to split it half and half so it doesn't uh, cost you both so much. But for guys that have a lot of money to somebody that has like none, just have them get a couple of things and help their butts over to the place so they can get some money so they can get some better equipment and better ships. Those are actually really good ways to make money for beginners if you have friends that actually play the game and have better stuff. Or even if they don't, all, all of you just get together and haul stuff, help each other out and things like that. Wing missions are really good to use. There's not that many. There's the assassination, the trade ones, the conflict zones, and basic cargo hauling, which would be nice if this thing would reset for me, but regular just delivery of whatever it is. Those are usually pretty good, but usually the amounts are fairly high. I'm actually surprised I'm not seeing any right now because usually they're very high amounts. Because of my trade rank and my combat rank, my stuff is usually ranging anywhere from five to 7,000 tons, which is a lot. And can take some time but usually the value of what you get for hauling the stuff is usually pretty good so you can help out uh newer players very easily like that or help your friends out with stuff if they need a little extra money hey i got a good mission for you let's go do it it's a good way to do some stuff this is probably a really short video because there's not a lot to explain for uh wing missions there really isn't you help each other out with the stuff as far as for beginners the trade ones and the hauling just cargo from one station to the next is really good if they can't haul a lot you can get more people to help you to do it if you can if you have friends to play with if you're doing it on your own if you have a ship that can handle the the the, the, the cargo space then you can uh do those on your own because usually they pay pretty good but like solo ones uh they can range anywhere from a million dollars and to five i think 
most of the time. Like this one's uh, almost uh, two and a half. It's not too bad. 120 units. Uh, my my little tiny ship I'm on right now could haul that much. So solo ones are good if you got to play by yourself. But if you can do wing missions, they're worth doing. So definitely look into that. I hope that helped you guys out a little bit on figuring out how winged missions work. I hope. Again, this is my personal opinion on how the game works with wing missions and different stuff you can do. Technically, it exploits the game by doing that for people that can't haul a lot of stuff. By getting somebody that's got a higher rank that can get more money out of their missions and then sharing it with your wingmen so they can get that amount on top of it and they don't even have to do hardly anything. It's it's a It seems like an exploit, but it works. And they haven't stopped it, so I'm guessing it's an okay thing to do. But... Uh, I think it's a good way to help uh, newer ships get stuff. So wing missions, good thing to do. Uh, can take a little time. Sometimes they're fast, sometimes they're not. It just depends on what you pick. But check them out. Look at different things and try to help each other out with stuff. Help your friends out. Get things that they can't get because they need the money. Help them out with the thing. It's a good deal for the game. We want a friendly game here. We want to help people do stuff. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have anything you can think of that I can do for a video other than anything to do with mining, um, I will attempt to make a uh, video on it. Something for beginners. If any beginners have any questions about something and I haven't made a video on it, ask me about it and I'll try to do something on it. If I don't know myself, which I should, but if I don't know, I'll let you know in the comments. I'll, I will respond to you personally and let you know if that that's something I don't know. I'll look into seeing what I can do with it and then maybe at some point I'll be able to make a video on it. But if there's something you guys can think of, let me know and I would love to make a video on it for you. But until then, thank you guys for watching and I will see all of you in the next video. See ya.